people are so sexualized. That's immediately what it comes down to. It's not, it's not about our relationships. You know, it's, it, it, it comes down to the way we have sex, you know? So it's, it's a lot of, ooh, you know, gay men repulse me and lesbians are hot because lesbian sex was invented to turn heterosexual men on. I, w I wish I'd known that before I said that. Bisexuals are, you know, hypersexual and they're, ju they're just having sex with everybody. They're so confused. Yeah, they're very confused and horny. And then we get to transgender people and we're like obsessed with their genitalia. You know, we, we want to know what's going on. You know, do you have a penis? Do you have a vagina? What is that like? We over-sexualize transgender people too because it's kinky, it's weird. When you look at hate crimes against gay, lesbian, bisexual, queer people, um, transgender people have are the least likely to physically survive a hate crime. There's so much sexual assault that happens during hate crimes. Uh, because sexual assault is a very powerful tool, um, not just to perpetrate oppression, but um, it's, it's a very humiliating crime. We want people to be talking about homophobia and heterosexism. Um, it's, it's a root cause of both domestic violence and sexual violence. That's what a rape culture is. Those institutions make a culture rape for rape. If we don't eradicate racism, we're not going to eradicate sexual violence. And the same thing goes for homophobia and heterosexism.